What do you say we go do some catching? What do you say, you and me? Let's go get some fish. Oh, come on. No. Third time's a charm. Rocks, but look at that, we got rock again. I wanna go and have a little bit of fun with this. We're driving down here to Padre Island, spend a little bit of time with Rachel's parents. We're not gonna be here for very long, so she said I was only allowed to bring two rods. I don't know how I'm supposed to do any fishing at all with only two rods. I'm going to take the two smallest rods that I own. We used these for crappie and bluegill up in Wisconsin, so we're talking eight pound test on this micro little outfit. It's a little bit of a test of my metal as an angler to see if I can land one of these big old fat sheep's head on a micro unit with eight pound test. I was quietly protective of my heart. So patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. I'm doing two things right now. The first is we're doing an exploratory run down here on the jetty just to see how things are, see if people are catching fish. The other thing that I'm doing, a little camera shot. I'm not going to lie about that. I despise coming out here and doing this around people. So I am forcing myself to come down here to the jetty, get some fish, and shove a camera in my face while I'm doing it. Oh, dude, you are busted up, aren't you? It's a little slippery out here, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna use our lucky hook that we stole from that pelican down here at the end of the jetty, right in the middle of everybody. We got all these guys fishing Surfside over here and they're casting way out, so they're looking for redfish and trout. And I'm not gonna be fishing Surfside, everybody's got that. I found myself a nice, really slippery uh, set of rocks that I'm gonna be hanging out on. That, that's actually what we should be doing right now. Gorgeous day. The tide's coming in, which means this current's gonna be pushing through the channel. This, that's all the technical stuff. Let's get some baits out, see what we can do. I did not take into account when I first had this idea of just how difficult this was going to be. There is so much more involved with this than just the tiny rod and the thin line. These rocks are really slippery. I'm used to it being slippery, but the problem is that with this tiny rod, I have to get a lot closer when I make my cast. If I hook into a fish, I can't pick him up with this rock. I'm gonna have to drag him up into the rocks, 
and that line can't touch the rocks. If the line touches the rocks, it is going to break that line. It really has nothing to do with the rod. It's just about not going in head first and falling in while I'm trying to manage all these other factors. All of these things are just exponentially more difficult since we are only using the, the tiny equipment. A bigger, well, a bigger rod, it, it would have been, it would have made things a lot easier right now. This is definitely not as easy as catching crappie at the lake. If I catch something, I stand a real chance of losing it in the rocks and looking like a real idiot in front of everybody out here. Of course, if I don't catch anything, I'm the idiot that's sitting here with a tiny rod and my head up my ass. Well, nobody else is catching fish here. Maybe this will be the spot. Oh, oh, oh. what this reel is intended for. It's not going to hurt the rod or anything, but I am going to have to handbrake it. If you're going to use tiny outfits, you need to make sure that you're handbraking your line. You're going to have to manage him taking line because you don't want to break anything. And you don't want him running that line across the rocks when he's down there, but you also have to let him make his roll. you got to get down in there. You've got to let him wear himself out. I'm not gonna force him. I don't wanna force him up out of the rocks. He's gonna go down in there. I gotta let him, and then I gotta be gentle about getting him back up and making sure I'm not dragging that line. Oh, I don't wanna drag it across that rock. Get it, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so fun. <laughs> Well, he's worn out now, so I don't have to worry about him running as much. I'm going to try to slip him up on this other rock here, on this, this mossy surface. And this is the moment of truth here. Oh! Man, that is freaking intense doing this. typically the case the second you catch a fish on any rock of any fishing location in the history of forever everyone has to move into that spot so I'm back in my original spot and I'm gonna see if I can't recreate the magic by getting a fish at the spot that I was originally at Oh, 
So a couple of years ago, I went and did some freshwater fishing with my brother-in-law. It was a life-changing experience. I had a blast. We're using all these crappie rods, and at the end of the day, I hooked into about a 30-inch pike. And I managed to catch that guy. On, oh, oh, whoa! No! Oh! <laughs> Oh man, that hurts. Maybe he's still there. Let's try it again. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, this is where the battle is. Cannot touch a rock. Come on. Come on, get him this time. For his fishy life. Come on. And you got him. Finally. Oh my God. He he loves gymnastics. <laughs> All right, let's go through again. Uh, oh, God. Hell yeah, right? Got dinner tonight. And there you have it. Yes, it is possible to get out there on the jetty and catch yourself some pretty decent fish, regardless of the size or quality of the tackle that you're using. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We would love having you along on all of our family fishing adventures, just like that one right there, or check out our entire seventh season of fishing videos. That link right there. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.